Well, you know, I'm from a third world country. I'm not against helping others. But now it's come to the point that this is home. This is where we need the help. And now we have a limit of $150,000 for businesses and people who have nothing left. It's just ridiculous. It's, it's like a joke. Government people are not here. Our minister is not here. Where are they? They're supposed to be supporting us, and they're not. But if they go to another, they go to another country and shake hands and be on TV and look good to, you know, for their own good. But it's not happening here. These are their people. Where are politicians tonight? Yeah, they're not here. Can I ask what? Are, do you yourself have a business? Yes, we do. What we have the Maple Grove Hotel. Okay, yeah. and how much do you estimate you'll have in damages? Well, we have foundation problems. We have uh, our home. The insurance uh, right off the bat told us that we were not covered at all. And, uh, you know, we, we bought this business four years ago. It was practically shut down. We worked very, very hard to bring it up. And now it's gone. In a matter of seconds, it's just gone. And so it hurts to see it. It really does. Was it, a, was it a, a surprise or a shock to you when you found out that insurance wasn't going to cover the water damage? Oh, definitely, definitely. Like, we, this is our uh, livelihood. And uh, it's gone. It's gone. I guess, well, what are you going to do now? Don't know. It's very uncertain. And, um, you know, we still have young kids that depend on us. So it's, it's pretty bad. And I know we're not the only ones on this. It's a lot of people that are hurting. Uh, even people you know that don't, didn't have insurance, a 75-year-old man who lost everything. They don't have the strength to go out and work again. So, you know, this is a joke, really. They're just laughing. It's a small center. Of course, they don't have the votes. If it was a bigger center, they would be here getting our votes. But they don't care. Some people were criticizing uh, tonight uh, the uh, maximum amount of money you can get from the provincial program. They say it's not enough and they might have for way more than $160,000 uh, uh, in damage. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to them? Well, I think that that's um, a, a sort of a natural response. Uh, you know, people in their own minds start tallying up the costs of their uh, their repairs and their damage. And, and uh, you look at the way things have uh, kind of escalated in cost. I don't think uh, I'm surprised that that reaction existed here tonight. $160,000, though, is a is a um, an amount that's been established for quite some time under the PDAP program. Uh, the uh, circumstances that were enunciated tonight suggest that there might be some flexibility there. Uh, the PDAP people will look at the amount of the claims, the variety of claims, and and how the costs of uh, impacted each claimant and uh, and may have to uh, adjust their figures upward. But there's nothing unique about the $160,000 figure that uh, was talked about here tonight. That's been a figure that's been in place, as I understand it, for quite some time. Uh, there have to be rules and regulations around these kinds of programs. Everybody understands that. But I think the uh, sign of a compassionate government is uh, the willingness to look at those rules and regulations and how they might be um, altered or accommodated, uh, bent a little bit to accommodate the existing circumstances, and I'm sure that that's what will happen here. So what you're saying is that the government might uh, raise the cap of 160000 You know, if $160,000 is seen to be uh, completely out of line, I think there will be some consideration given to uh, um, uh, amending that amount. Uh, what it might be or, or how quickly that, that might happen, I can't, uh, you know, I can't even surmise. But um, I think there is there's a, a willingness on the part of the government to address this uh, problem as expeditiously and quickly as possible and to uh, meet uh, the needs in, uh, in the most uh, beneficial way across the board. That doesn't mean that the government can be responsible for every last element of cost associated with a disaster like this. After all, it is an assistance program, not, a, not an insurance program.